Hello, this is David from davidcliveprice.com and this is the podcast edition of this week's Easy Number 15 How to Give Business Gifts in Asia. Gift giving is very popular in Asia. Many countries in the region have elaborate customs and traditions that stem from their culture and beliefs and gift giving reflects these beliefs. Gifts are a way of expressing thanks, but also the desire for a meaningful, prosperous and long-term relationship, which is particularly important in business and politics. There are appropriate occasions for giving gifts, such as a home visit or a special banquet, the arrival of a mission, the signing of a contract or launch of a company. And gifts often come specially presented in exquisite boxes or wrapped in expensive paper, as in Japan. Most of all, gifts are a gesture in Asia of goodwill, friendship and auspiciousness. They're often associated with special festivals or celebrations such as Chinese Lunar New Year or National Days, the end of Ramadan or Buddha's birthday. I was reminded of this recently when a British transport minister arrived in Taiwan and presented the mayor of Taipei with an expensive watch to show her friendship. Quite innocuous, you might think. Well, no. Her team might have advised her that in Chinese culture, to give a watch or clock suggests that time is running out fast for the recipient. In Mandarin, the phrase giving a clock, sounds like paying one's last respects. The mayor of Taipei tried to laugh it off by joking about it and giving it to someone else or to a scrap dealer, he joked, which only made the situation worse. Later, the British minister said, I had no idea a gift like this could be seen as anything other than positive. In the UK, a watch is precious because nothing is more important than time. Her comment perfectly illustrates the kind of difficulties that cultural differences create for Western companies and officials in Asia. The minister was only visiting and should have been better advised. But what if you are building a business in Asia? In Singapore, for example, would you know that ethnic Malays prefer gifts on parting rather than on arriving? That alcohol is inappropriate, or anything associated with pork, or anything wrapped in white, the colour of death? Flowers are appreciated as gifts by ethnic Indians, but avoid frangipani since it is used in funeral wreaths. Unlike for the Chinese, small gifts of money should be given in odd numbers and gifts wrapped in bright colours, not in black and white. And would you know that the ethnic Chinese appreciate candies or chocolate or a basket of fruit, preferably wrapped in red or gold? But they detest clocks, viz. the British minister, or anything that cuts because scissors and knives suggest terminating a relationship. In other words, the Westerner has to be very careful to give gifts that are appropriate for each individual Asian country, each cultural grouping and each special occasion. The foreigner also has to make sure that the value of the gifts is appropriate. In several Asian countries, business and political gifts have become a form of bribery. In China, for example, the gifts were so luxurious that the government had to crack down hard on the practice and only allow gifts of a certain maximum value. More discreet gifts are now the norm, at least in public. In other words, you need to do your homework on what gifts are appropriate in what Asian culture. You also need to make quite sure that you are not offending your host or your ho home country's laws about bribery and corruption. All of this requires some basic cultural sensitivity, some homework and some advice from local people and your local partners. That way you avoid bringing bad luck 
or something worse, on your Asian hosts and counterparts. And they will appreciate your thoughtfulness and sensitivity all the more. A complete guide to gifts and festivals in Asia is included in my best-selling book, The Master Key to Asia. I'd love to hear from you if you have tips or comments about doing business in China or in other parts of Asia. You can leave them at my blog, www.davidcliveprice.com forward slash blog. And of course, please subscribe if you want more on-the-ground intel just like this. Just add yourself to the subscription box on www.davidcliveprice.com And you can also subscribe to this podcast on iTunes.